good morning it's glad to see you again in this class and here I give you the video explanation about our chapter one it is called classification the first thing that we have to know and study here is what is classification well classification itself is grouping things according to the similarities or differences for example here you can find a picture of things right there are the food we have vegetables we have fruits and so on and they are classified according to their color we have blue or purple color and then red and then yellow or orange white and the last is green for each group they have the things that have the color as they are classified why do we classify things so these are the reason why do we have to classify things people usually classify things every day to make life easier so can't you imagine what would life be like if grocery stores were not classified wow it will be very messy so how long would it take to find food if it is messed up with another things in the grocery you need to find chili but it will be mixed down with the other vegetables or maybe you have to find lemon but it hidden under the other things so it's gonna be very difficult to find the food or the things you want while scientists classify organisms to make answering scientific questions easier what are the relationships between species or what differences exist among species so those are the reason why do we classify things next is how do we classify things it is by grouping things according to similar traits or characteristics in this time we can see the picture of the animals right we can see the difference of that animals or you can classify the things according to the color as I explained before or according to the shape the size the uses or the taste When we classify things, we need to look for their similarities and differences. Things with similar characteristics are grouped together. And things with different characteristics are put into different groups. Here, I gave you the steps to classify things. We have four steps. For the first step, we have to identify the purpose of classify things. What is your purpose to classify the things? The second step is to select the characteristics that can be used to group the things. For example, you classify the things according to the color or according to the size or shape. The third step is to draw the tables or diagrams to show the groupings it is to make your result easier so you can see your classification from the tables or the diagrams that you made and the last step the step four is to put the things into the correct groups so be careful when you are putting the things into the correct groups it should be according to the characteristic that you use to group the things. So how do we show the classification of things? We have two ways here, by using the tables and by using the diagrams. So 
How do they look like? How does the table look like? And how does the diagram look like? So here we are. This is the example to classify the things. Here we have some things to be classified. We have pizza slice, we have golden coin, and we have photo frame. I am using the table for the first time here. So I classify those things according to the shape. Here we have three shapes. We have square, for example, it is. This is the diagram. This is the way to classify the things using the diagram. At the top, we have shape, and then we divide it into three boxes. At the middle, we have triangle, for example, we drag down, we have pizza slice, and then the middle one, we have circle there, down there, we have golden coin, and then the last is the square, and for the example of the square, we have a photo frame. So, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this all, and we will meet again on the next video. Thank you for joining with me, Miss Are You Here? See you, stay healthy, stay safe. God bless you. Bye-bye.